my name is Francesca Bigley and we are at the Plum Softball Field at the high school. Um, today I'm interviewing Brooke Kunla. Hello, Brooke. Hi, Fran. So, how long have you been playing softball? Um, I'd say about like 10 years. I don't know the exact amount, but it's close enough. And what is your favorite part about the new softball field? Probably being able to play in like any weather, I guess. All right, sounds good. That is all I have for you today. Thank you. Hi, I'm Caitlin Schmidt and today I'm here with Tristan Ah, a member of the Plum Cheer program at the second open gym for the 2021-2022 season. Tryouts begin next week for your senior season. Looking back, what is the best memory you have made cheering for Plum? I think my best memory for cheering for Plum would have to be being on the competition squad. I met a lot of new friends that I didn't really talk to during the regular season and we create like such a special bond that I don't get to have with just my friends. You have been a member of both Sideline and the competition team for the past three years. Which is your favorite and why? I probably would pick Sideline only for the fact that I love game day. I love getting dressed up with my friends, going to cheer under the Friday Night Lights, and having like a big crowd to cheer you on as well. What are some personal goals you have for the 2021-2022 season? Um, my personal goals would be um, probably for things to be a little bit um, more normal than last season. Especially for my senior year, I'd like to be able to cheer and have like a state section there as well um, and get all my family to come out um, and not have any restrictions. Understandable. Mm -hmm. So do you prefer stunting, jumping, or tumbling in lot? I prefer stunting because I'm a flyer and I've been a flyer since um, I was on ponies and I think that would be my favorite because getting to be up in the air and have everyone watch you is actually very scary, but it's very fun um, and it definitely helps my confidence. Last question, as an upcoming senior, what are you looking forward to as your last season being a member of Flow Cheer? Um, I'm looking forward to closing a chapter, one that I've been doing for a really long time. I'm excited to um, make more memories um, with my team and also get to know the new growth coming up. Awesome, thank you so much for your time and good luck next Thank season. you. Javelin, my PR is 126 feet. Great. 
Okay, and then for your final question, what are your future goals for this round of career? Um, I'd like to make it higher up in the Right now I'm ranked number 10. I want to get up to top 5 or 6, maybe top 15 in the state. Um, I have to pick up like 10 feet to be able to do that, so it's going to be a challenge, but I think I'd be able to do it. And I want to throw in college, but we'll see what happens with that. Alright, well, good luck to you, Rocco. And that was our talk about track. Hi everybody, I'm Caden McCord from PHS TV. Today we're at Stony Creek Golf Range and we're going to be doing a competition between the three of us, Garrett Susco and Jake Duran and myself, to see who can hit the ball the farthest. We each picked our own clubs. I'm going with the 7 iron. Garrett, what did you pick? I'm picking the hybrid. And Jake, I picked the 4 iron. 4 iron? Alright, here we go. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Tyler Marks here at Stony Creek Driving Range with Caden McCrory, the winner of our golf challenge. Caden, how does it feel to win the golf challenge, making it your second victory in the last three shows? Uh, it feels pretty good. Uh, I feel pretty confident against in these challenges now, especially against Garrett and Jake. They're pretty athletic, so I'm happy to win my second one out of three, and I uh, feel confident going to the next one. Awesome. Congrats on your win. Thank you.
What club did you use, and do you think it gave you an advantage over the other club selections from the other competitors? So I used the seven iron, a little bit different than those two. Those guys use more of a mid-range club. They use a four iron and a three hybrid. So and definitely they had more of the advantage, but I felt confident with my club. My club was the seven iron, so felt really good going into it and it ended up working. Good. How long have you played golf for, and how often do you play? So I started taking lessons about two, three years ago. I try to go to the driving range at least once or twice a week. I haven't gone out to the course yet, but I uh, hope to tune in the near future. Good. Do you think golf should be more popular among people our age? I definitely think so. I think golf is a very underappreciated sport. It's a very hard sport to learn. I think that's why people don't uh, learn it. So I think if uh, people gave it a chance, I think it would be a much more appreciated sport and more people would definitely do it. All right. What about Stony Creek Driving Range makes it the best place to golf? It's very affordable. It's very family friendly. You know, the scenery behind me is amazing. They have the little holes over there where you can uh, time your shots and try to get your accuracy right. So and not a lot of places have that. So I think Stony Creek in that way is probably one of the best around here. All right. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do this interview. I'm Tyler Marks and back to the studio. Hi, Mr. Brott. Today I am here with Sunny for a virtual interview because I forgot to do it whenever I did a tour. So, Sunny, why did you choose to go to John Carroll? Um, well, I chose to go to John Carroll because John Carroll has a great business school, the John Carroll Bowler School of Business, and it also has a great net network to uh, many professional sports leagues. And so, I felt as if I came here, I could find my way into somewhere like the NFL, working in the front office of a franchise and also i got recruited by the football team of john carroll and i felt like it was a good fit for me to come to school here nice sunny also what impact did COVID have on your freshman year of college well COVID actually um canceled my fall semester so i was completely remote at home which was so great because i got to spend so much time with my girlfriend jillian but however this spring semester uh we're doing sort of like a hybrid model for classes where people pretty much get to choose whether they want to be in person or not. Nice. Well, that answered my last question because I was going to ask if most of your classes are in person or online, but you just answered that. So thank you for your time, Sunny, and that is all for today. Thank you. Hi, my name is Megan Franzi and today I'm here with Charlotte Jones. Charlotte, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm wonderful, thank you for asking. So today we're going to talk about her senior trip plans, if there are any. Um, are you going on a senior trip, and if so, where? Yes, I am going on a senior trip, and my friends and I are going to New York City. Oh, girls trip! <laughs> Um, who's all going on this trip? You said the girls, but who specifically? So my sister is going, and she's bringing her boyfriend because we need 
some guardians. Uh, we, need a, we need a man in New York City, apparently, for some parents to say yes. Not my parents, whatever. Anyway, um, Priscilla Jones is going on this trip. Ray and Bartley's going on this trip. Molly Giles and Savannah Kay. Sounds like a great group of girls. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> how long are you going on this trip? Um, we are going from July 8th to the 13th. So five or six days, something like that. That's a nice trip. Yep. Um, what do you want to see? Um, I really want to see the Met Museum where they're having the Met Gala, like, and Ooh. there's a bunch of art, and you know, yeah. that's I'm really interested. Priscilla said she wants to see the Empire State Building, but like, there's a lot to do in New York City, so I'm sure we'll see a bunch. All the touristy spots. All the touristy spots. Nice. <laughs> um, have you ever been there before? Yes, I was there for the first time back in October to tour the campus, but we didn't get to see much because we were in Brooklyn most of the time. So we'll be in Manhattan for the majority of this trip. We'll go to see your future home. Yep. <laughs> What are you looking forward to most? Um, I think I'm just looking forward to like exploring the area before I get up there for school, like trying to find some fun spots and like seeing what's around and like familiarizing myself with it because New York City is so big and so unknown. That's so exciting. Yeah. Well, hopefully you have a good trip. Thank you. Thank you for watching this interview. Let's head back to the studio. so cool <laughs> was whenever we went to uh, the Grandpa Joe's candy shop and we were just walking around in there. I love that store. They have a bunch of cool stuff and we got some candy and stuff like that. So yeah. What kind of candy? What kind of candy did you get? Um, well, I know Chuck got some of those little Japanese, um, they're like little food sets. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, yeah. Like, in the water. Yeah, you can make a little uh, food. I think she got a burger one that and stuff like awesome. that. Um, and then, yeah. And then another part that was really fun was just the fact that we were driving around downtown in Angelina's car, the Beetle with the top down. So that was really fun. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had a good trip, Emily. Thanks. Thank you for this interview. Bye.
I'm Nick. I'm, uh, I'm from Plum High School, and I'm interviewing Mrs. Soma. And um, today, I'm just going to ask Mrs. Soma a few questions. So, Mrs. Soma, what do you like most about working at Soma's Pizza? I like the people. I like our product. I think it's fun to, you know, interact with all the people. You know, unfortunately with COVID, it's been a little challenging, but it's, you know, it's a fun, it's a fun job. Yeah, it's definitely great food. Honestly, I love, I love it here. Me Thank and my you. friends come. But um, what do you think your favorite dish would be? Uh, the hat trick. The hat it's trick. A grilled cheese sandwich okay. with lots of cheese. Yeah, yeah that one's pretty good. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, I saw your new outside um, renovation done. Um, you guys got that over COVID, right? Yes, my husband and his friend built it. Uh, so we, we used it all summer long with people who come with their kids and their dogs. We have cornhole and connect four and ping pong table and there's a TV to watch sports. So it just gave us some area outside since we couldn't sit inside. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I think it's going to be amazing. But um, would that be the, like, opening up this summer for sure? It's open now. Yeah, oh, we just nice. didn't put the games out today because of the weather. It was oh, okay, crabby. sounds good. Zeta, how are you doing today? Good, Will. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, where, are we, where are we right now today? We are at Pearl Lake. Nice. How many times have you been here? I've been here a few times in the summer and uh, it's been good. So do you have any good experiences you had? Yeah, uh, we came down here with a few friends and we got to catch a lot of fish. So uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Nice. What all can you catch here? Uh, you know, some bass, some uh, drums, you know, some catfish, you know. All that stuff. What all have you caught? There's some drums, <laughs> some bass, some catfish, you know, the huge. Sounds great. Uh, how busy does this place get in the summertime? Uh, pretty busy, you know, you'll get fishermen lining up left and right. So, uh, you know, it's a battle for the, for the bass, the trout, you know, all, all those fish. That sounds like a great time. Back to you. <laughs> 